Today I am messing with the 2023 KTM XC300 and I am trying to see if I can get into little ECU here and be able to see what's going on with it. This all came up because when I had the issue with the uh, power valve code from hitting the start button while the bike was already running and I had the five slow blinks, I want to be able to diagnose this stuff myself. I don't want to have to go to a dealer and wait on a dealer in their time to get a bike problem fixed when I should be able to fix it myself. Uh, I don't have time for that kind of thing and I just, I don't want to deal with a dealer. Most of this, I do all my bike work myself. I don't take it in, do my own suspension, except for when I send it off to be revalved through Ride JVI. But as far as servicing it and the basics, I do all that. So I don't want to have to deal with a dealer for these little hiccups that come up. So it's kind of been my mission right now to try to figure out a way to be able to read the ECU and see what's going on. So I've got a bunch of readers in right now and I've got an adapter cable. So we're gonna test those out and see if it works and go from there. Okay, so diagnosing the bike, it should be pretty straightforward. We have a diagnostic port here and that's what you would plug this guy into that you should have got with the bike. And what this does from what I've gathered is when you plug it in, it goes ahead and powers up the system so that you can see any of your blinking codes and how many hours are on the bike. Well, I don't really care about that right now because I want to be able to read and clear codes myself. So I went online and bought a Euro 5 six pin to an OBD2 adapter. So the thought behind this is plug this six pin Euro 5 standard plug into here and you plug that into your basic OBD2 code reader. These are pretty popular with people with like a KTM 890, uh, 1290, and a lot of other bikes that are already switched over to the Euro 5 standard. So I'm hoping this is going to work. Let's go ahead and take a look at the code readers and we'll see what we're working with. All right, so I've purchased three code readers and I've tested another one that I have that's pretty old and it didn't work at all with this, but I haven't tried these yet. Just got these in today. Read a lot of good things online about them. And online they are claiming that these use the newest standards as far as 2022. So I've got just their basic 5110. And this is just reads codes. So the 5210, this one is supposed to also give you live data and read codes as well. And then this was their most expensive one, 5610. This should do everything, uh, two-way communication with the vehicle. So I'm hoping out of these three, one of these is going to work. Um, my guess would be this 5610 because this is the most in-depth. This one was, I think, $350. This was $120, and this was $50. So let's go fire up the bike and give them a shot. All right, we're going to start with the little guy, 5110. Let's go ahead and see what happens here. Try it again. All right, so it read. I don't have any codes right now, but that's a promising sign that it at least connected. Let's grab another one. Okay, we'll go to the 5210.
try it again. Try the last one. So it actually takes batteries. And disappointing. Let me check some stuff. Okay, so this G Basic one sent it connected and did it show any codes, but I don't have any codes on the bike currently. And I really don't feel like putting one on there and then having to deal with the dealership if I can't get it removed. But I'm not 100% sold this is actually connecting properly. Um, these two would not connect. I did notice, let's see if I can find it here in this screen, that it was saying the firmware was old. So let's see here. There we go, firmware. So they both showed an old 2019 firmware version. Let's see if the camera will pick that up. I jumped on their website, downloaded the software that's supposed to be able to make it update. I also have it connected to my phone because it is Bluetooth and they do have an app. It will not update. That is saying it's the latest. So that's really disappointing when on Amazon, they're listing all of these as 2022 capable. So these are all going back and I'm gonna do some more testing, get some other ones in and see what we can find out. So I'm a little disappointed that none of those code readers worked on the bike. Um, like I've said before and started this video, I want to be able to work on this 100% myself. I don't want to have to deal with the dealership for stupid little things. Like if a sensor goes out and I have to reset this code, well, I know how to replace the sensor. I know how to test the sensors. I bought the service manual so that I know all the voltages for testing it. So if I determine a sensor is bad, I want to be able to replace it, clear codes, and go. I don't want to go spend $150 for a dealership to plug in, take five minutes to clear a code. To me, that's a waste of my time when I have to drive 30 minutes each way to a dealership and wait for them to get it in. So diesel is not cheap. My time isn't really available for around a dealership's time. And to me, it's just a pain in the ass. So I do want to figure out how to get into that ECU on my own without spending the almost $3,000 that you have to spend for the KTM diagnostics uh, system. So I'm going to keep testing. Uh, I'm going to do another video after this one. I wanted to get this out just to try to get some more input from other people, see if they've had any luck getting into it. But I did go ahead and order some more readers, uh, OBD2 readers that are motorcycle specific and they say they work on Euro 5 and they're updated for 2022, but we'll have to see how that works. 
So stay tuned for that video. Please like, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more info on the 2023 XC300 and see if I'm able to get into that ECU. If you've had luck <clears throat> getting into there, let me know in the comments below or shoot me a message, an email. I do have the email uh, that you can get a hold of me, which is also for the discount code for FXR. So if you have questions on the gear, you want to know specifics between gear types, let me know, shoot me an email. Or if you've had luck getting in here, drop a comment below. Let me know what you're using and how it works. I'm really curious on that and I want to know if it's possible on these new TBI bikes. I know it's really easy on the TPI and apparently you can do it on the 790s, 890s, 1290s, etc. But these TBIs, I want to know if we can get into them so that people like me can do all the work yourself. So let me know and I look forward to being able to update you guys with what I find out. All right, so a little bit after filming that video, I got some messages from a guy I've been working with. His name's Justin. He's been messaging me over Instagram. So Justin, thank you for your help. But he has an XC300 with the five blinking lights from hitting the starter button while it was running. So he was asking me if I had figured out a way to make it get cleared. I let him know that you know the cable I'm using and the 5110 was able to actually connect but I couldn't tell if it would clear any codes because I didn't have any so he bought it and tried it no luck uh, he can get it to connect just like I can but it will not clear the code uh, he's saying that the thing is actually showing there are no codes so I don't know if it's actually connecting or if it's actually doesn't have a code or what's going on there why we're not able to figure that out but hopefully with some other scanners we'll know more i'm really looking for a scanner that will relay live data so that i can see what's going on to make sure that it is actually reading off the ecu correctly so that's what i got coming in so hopefully that will be on the next video and again if you've had luck getting into an xc300 let me know what you're using because i want to be able to do it myself and i want this to work for everyone so thank you for checking it out and hopefully have some more info soon on how you can be able to get into it yourself.